All right, let's see what we got going on here. We got an alchemist, arcanist. Uh, so, uh, do we want to do a spellcaster or do we want to be a melee type character? Or do we want to do a, something interesting? Holy son of a gun. And then they have all these that aren't even in the beta. That is a crap load of people you can be. Hmm. A slayer. Slayers are consummate hunters living for the chase and the deadly stroke that brings it close. Hmm. Deliverer, a slayer deliverer, also known as divine assassin. Mm -hmm. That seems like something that would be kind of cool. I'm not going to lie, that seems like that would be something that would be kind of cool right there. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm going to go with a deliverer, a divine assassin. Evil deities are more likely to use assassins than deliverers, but some good deities use deliverers to deal with problems of subtler nature. With a cleric, inquisitor, paladin, or war priest can, can, can't typically handle. All right. Yeah. A divine assassin. Sneak attack, sneak attack up, sneak attack up. Gotta like it, gotta like it. Always like the sneak attacks. See if you can't get the people. So pretty much what we're looking at is a... Uh, is a holy rogue. Not bad, okay. What race do we want to be? Human. Plus two to one ability score at creation. The character gets plus two thousand bonus two by that one. Plus two bonus to an ability of their choice. So they get a plus two to any ability they want. And they get a feat and their skill. Elf. Elven magic, elven immunities. I want to do something a little interesting. Mm. Kitsuin. Okay. All right. Oh, that would be very interesting. Uh, race traits. What are we going? Uh, race. The damp here would be interesting as a, uh, I think it would be really interesting to play a typically evil type character that has found the light but still has the I don't know I'm thinking that's going a little too out far uh, Asimir might be interesting um 
berdiri. I think I might go with the Asimir. Oh, that doesn't quite look like the type of person I want. I didn't even see anything about... Oh. Male characters. All right. Shall we go with Asimir? Probably mispronouncing that. I always mispronounce that one. That's not a big deal. All right. Um, acid resistance five, cold resistance five, and electricity. I like that. Asimir possesses the ability to manifest halos. It can create a light center on their head at will. While using a halo, they gain a plus two. Circumstance bonus on saving throws against becoming blinded or dazed. Most Asimirs do not know exactly where their celestial uh, touch beings hint at a relatively indistinct or all encompassing heavenly force in their lineage. Some, however, possess more unique traits and abilities inherited from their su supernal forebears. Interesting. All right, <clears throat> heritage. Let's see if we go with that. Asimers of uncertain heritage have a plus two racial bonus to wisdom and charisma, and a plus two racial bonus to persuasion. Strength and charisma. Intelligence and charisma. Constitution and charisma. Constitution and wisdom. As a slayer, what are our what are our main focuses here? Um, I would think that we'd want to have reef uh probably dexterity right uh, dexterity and wisdom the shimmering avian features like Plume Kith, instantly recognizable. Though they can act rashly, Plume Kith never shirk their duty after making a commitment. Very interesting. I'm thinking what I want to do is we're going to go with the Slayer Deliverer. The uh, muse touched epitomize freedom and joy and travel the world to liberate less fortunate. Oh man, I think that makes it. I think that kind of goes with it. Okay. Deity. No, I'm mean, the god of cities, law, merchants. No. Uh, evil, chaotic good. Callistra, also known as the savored sting and the unquenchable fire, is the goddess of lust and revenge who takes on many faces and guises. Uh, maybe not. Caden Kalin, the god of drunkenness. Nope. Desda, neutral good, chaotic good. The Great Dreamer, Lady Luck, and Mother Moon. Um, I'd like, I'm looking probably someone with a rapier. I kind of think I want a rapier. Or a long, that's lawful. I 
I'm not really lawful. Chaotic good. Greatsword, that's two handed. Trident. Daggers. Neutral evil chaotic evil. Okay, that's. Iomade. Longsword. I guess I could go with the neutral good. Iomade. I don't know. Maybe Iomade. Because we've got the whole uh, going with the Slayer Deliverer, Asimir. Okay, Iomade. I'm going to select Iomade for right now. Uh, Falchion. Neutral good, lawful, neutral. Obviously, I can't be evil of any sort because I'm supposed to be a deliverer slayer. And we can't have evil characters be slayers. So, I want to thank everybody for being here. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, don't hesitate to throw it out there. Uh, okay. Barazma. Let's see. Lady of Graves, Mother of Souls, Grey Lady. Phrasma is the goddess of birth, death, and prophecy. I think that might actually fit. Uh, that could fit as a Holy Assassin. Let's see. And then a bunch of gods we can't be. Okay, we're going to go with Phrasma. Because I could be chaotic, neutral. Neutral, good. All possibilities right there. So. <clears throat> Don't you love character creation? Let's see. Phrasma. Well, let's go with that. Now. <clears throat> so we got plus two to dexterity. And then we have 25 points to use. Go with a two there, two there, constitution, wisdom, charisma, intelligence, 16, 14, 14. It's a whole lot of points. Ah, I can't go, keep it 16 then. So what do you guys think? So I take wisdom up and then charisma to 15. So we're just a little intelligent. Or should we go with the more intelligence? Because skills are run off of intelligence, right? So Okay. Well, let's just go with that and see what we got on skills. Um, yeah, we want a class skill. We want some more stealth. Uh, some, uh, athletics, some nobility. I don't know. Perception. Okay. Do we get a feat? Let's see. Kind 
come back. Slayer proficiency. Hey, Paula, how you doing? How's it going? <clears throat> One of the heaviest things in an RPG is pulling everything out and creating your character. You got cake? I, I don't have cake. I do have soda. I have a couple sodas here. As you can see, I took down all my borders and my face cam because you got to be able to see stuff when you're playing one of these games. I wanted everybody to see stuff. So, what kind of cake do you have? Oh, uh, you have strawberry soda? It's been a long time since I've had a strawberry soda. I'll be honest with you. Anyone else in the chat? What do you think on uh, feats here? Do I get a feat? Looks like I can, I can choose a feat. Deadly aim. No. What is that? It says no. Because I have to have base attack one dexterity. So it says I can't do that. You get plus two bonus to perception skill checks if you have ten or more ranks in this, that skill. Power attack. I don't, but. Hi, uh, reptilian cow. I'm, I'm wondering. I was thinking maybe toughness because power attack. I'm. What I'm going for is, uh, is they have this class here, which is a holy assassin character. Who would deliver the divine assassin. So I'm supposed to go and do things that the uh, clerics and the paladins have a problem doing. So I'm trying to figure out what would go well with uh, being a roguey type character I'm, I'm toughness how many can you do here seems like you got toughness three hit points for every hit die you possess beyond three you gain an additional plus one hit point if you have more than three hit dice you gain Okay, toughness seems pretty good. What is that? Feet. Says I get a feet. Hey, dragon. So I'm thinking toughness is going to be good. I was hoping I can... Well... We could go with stealthy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Stealthy, get a plus 10 bonus on all mobility checks. Because um, right now I have stealth at 9. I would can't take anything to 10. But... Uh, I don't believe I'll be casting in combat. I'm supposed. I'm playing a uh, my my class. I chose. I went through all this. I found a holy assassin, uh, Betty Butter, Boop, some butter. <laughs> Can I just call you Betty? Is that all right? Uh, a deliverer, which is a holy assassin, a divine assassin. So I'm wanting to do something that goes with that. Because what we have here is, so I was thinking stealthy, but it says that it, it works if, stealthy works if I have 10 or more ranks in one of these skills. I do have, I do have 11 in mobility. So if I take this, do you have 10 or more ranks in one of these skills? Oh, wow, my mobility is going to be huge. I think I'm going to take stealthy here. 
So, <laughs> yeah, it's quite a long name, but I, I got to I, I like it better. Better butter, bought some butter. I got it. Um, let's see. Background selection. I think that I was probably some sort of um, my background selection. I would like to say I was some sort of I would think some sort of kind of um, I don't know maybe maybe somebody that was just kind of orphaned at a long young age or something you know um, lore nature and perception to the rest of her class skills. <laughs> let's see because my skills right now if I go back to skills I have nature and world pretty much the only thing I don't have is trickery and use magic device that would be kind of cool maybe something that gives me trickery I don't know uh so a street urgent. I kind of like I kind of like I grew up as a pickpocket and then and then I got taken in by some sort of priest who uh, <clears throat> who taught me the ways of phrasma and then I became. I'm going to think I'm more chaotic good. Can I choose? How do I choose? I could be neutral good or chaotic neutral. What is that? Phrasma is neutral good, chaotic neutral. That's why I can do those three. Okay. Neutral good. Okay, we'll go with neutral good. I think that'll be a good one. So, yep, all right. So we've got that. So now we've got an alignment. Uh, we've got an appearance. Okay, right-handed. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to be a thin face. That's fine. That'll be fine. Okay. Thinking that. I got a beard or I don't have a beard. I guess I'm going to have a beard no matter what. I say we go more of a white color. Ooh, maybe like, yeah. Silver. Okay. Primary color of secondary color. Okay, I think that's going to be good there. A mere flesh wound. A mere flesh wound. Burn, slice, behead. I don't know. These are kind of interesting. I shall not falter. I shall not falter. You're done for. <laughs> You're done for. My skills exceed yours. Some of these are just funny. My skills. I am superior. Okay, that's, 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 uh, yeah. No. I'll go ahead. Nope. No, I got Madman again. Oh, these are the male. I'm into the female voices.
Uh, let's see. Confident. We do it my way. We do it my way. I don't think he'd be a madman, pious, brave. Probably more oh, reserved. Yeah. I'm thinking he'd be more reserved when he talks. I'll be. M All right, let's do it. I was wanting to hear more. I feel faint. I believe we'll go with that one. More reserved. All right. <clears throat> well, we gotta name it Hales. If I can, if I can only type. If I could only type. If I can only type, I'd get it done. Ah, if I could only type. All right. So. Everyone counts on me. Okay. So. We have a neutral goal, Asima, Asimir, uh, who's a deliverer, divine assassin, uh, good mobility, stealth, athletics. All right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to be okay here. Let's start it up and see what we got going on here. Yeah.